Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. This is a very special episode because we are on our way to London uh, Gaming Market. My name's Paul Marco Rudy, and we've also got my man Kev Tastic, and also holding the camera is Jake or Greg. We'll decide what we're going to call them through the day, but you know, you'll get to know them as we go. Exactly, I'm going to give you a nickname, but I just want to say something quickly before we get on with, with the rest of the day. Uh, I just want to give a big shout out to my uh, Mrs. Boo. It's our six year anniversary, so in other words, we've been together for six years and, f and it's been good. And I mean, you can't do your five time book of tea thing. I can't do my five time, I can do my six time though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good, so I just want to share that with you all. Okay, Kev, tell them what's cracking today. Okay, mate. so yeah, we just left Ketra and we're off down to London. Gonna get the early bird special at the London Gaming Market. Mm -hmm. A lot of things we wanted to pick up today. I know you're after a fair bit today as well, ah, but it is a free for all. I'm not, I'm not going to come back disappointed because there's nothing that I need to find there. If I need something, I'll be on eBay. Yeah, but here, yeah. it's just about the browsing, seeing yeah. the old classics that you, you forgot about almost yeah, or you yeah, remember definitely. playing as a kid, uh, meeting like minded people and talking to them and, and seeing fellow, fellow YouTube YouTubers yeah, do their thing. So. It's all, it's all about the atmosphere, isn't it? Yeah. And for me, it's just like now, for the last video uh, we did, uh, talking about what we're getting, now I'm like board games. You know, because I see they've yeah. got like a big table where you can play board games and stuff like that. So that'll be something a bit different as well, uh, because I can't remember playing a board, day, board game since last Christmas of last year, and that was a spickable me. It's flipping long. But that's for me. Sounds like a lot of effort, man. It's a lot of effort, it really is. So I'm intrigued to see what these indie board game developers have put together and giving stuff a try. Plus playing on some old retro consoles while there as well. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, I really can't wait. I've had my toast and I've had a cup of tea. I'm about to have a Pepsi. And you have to have your water. It's that's all about product important. placement on Black Area Game Talk. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. But for saying that, I've got nothing else to say because my PSP is staring at me. So I'm going to crack all that. you got a console? Got Kev? my 3DS and me, so anything goes today, man. Okay, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> What are you playing, boss? I'm playing Luigi's Mansion. Oh, Ego Kev, you can have the PSP, yeah? Oh, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, we'll swap. The man, Kev, what are you playing, my big bar? Well, I've just fired up Tekken Dark Resurrection, is it? Okay. On the PSP, which I've never played before, and I haven't played a PSP in so long. Oh, um, and the thing about Tekken games is you always want to watch the intro videos because they're always badass, badass FMV sequences. Yeah. So I'm just letting this play out before I actually get into the fighting. And I've been playing Tekken Tag Tournament on PS2 lately okay. with, uh, with Holly. So uh, still going to have the skills, the thumbs ready, ready to whoop some ass with King. That's your favourite, isn't it, Jake? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, uh, nice, man, nice. It kicks some ass, man. But you got to love the PSP. I mean, even considering picking one up today if I get a, can see it for oh, a good really? price. Yeah. Wow. Um, there's a lot of good games on here that it is good to have on the go, so mm. I'm going to be on the lookout for a PSP. This is actually the Blackout Rudy's PSP, so you know. Yeah, but make sure you look after, I'm going to be after some PSP and I'll shine, I'll shine this up, man, you know. So. Yeah, but no spit though, yeah? No, not a spit polish, didn't we? <laughs> no, no, Here we go, Tekken Dark Resurrection. Oh, man, hit that hard, man. <laughs> yeah, man, let's do it, man. Cool burst. Yes, we have arrived. We have arrived at the Royal National Hotel. It looks beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. But it ain't about what it looks like outside, I guess. It's what's inside. It's, it's about it's really what is fine. inside. And inside, in theory, is going to be a hell of a lot of games that we're going to be snooping through. So. Oh, I can't wait. Bring it on. It's, it's going to be really good. We're, we've come here early. We've got, is it 40 minutes until it's open? Yeah, about half hour till they open. So hopefully we'll we'll be meeting up with a few people prior and, and see who's about queuing up already. People are off, obviously, yeah. here for bargains and, and, you know, rare stuff. So Yeah. And this is going to be really good because now I'm just, I just want to get in there. Do you know what I mean? I'm really buzzed to get in there. The, um, the train journey wasn't so bad because we all talked about wrestling and games and stuff like that. So that killed a bit of time. But now we are here. We need to enter the building. We've got a bit of time to waste. So probably we can look at these lovely buildings and, and probably talk to some other gamers and see what they think. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to get. But what I do know is I'm definitely walking away with some gold, baby. That's why I'm walking gold right yes, there. Yes, boss. Walk away. Are you hoping to walk away with gold? I'm going to walk away with gold. It's going to be something, man. Silver I'm going to pick up a lot of silver, but a few bits of gold. <laughs> yeah, it? yeah. So it is going to be good, but um, there's loads more. You guys stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. Hey, first to say? Uh, we're good, man. We're good. Let's pop in. Peace.
excellent. We are now waiting and it's filled up so much here and we're looking forward to going. But we just bumped into this gentleman here and he's been, he took a photo for us, which was really good. So I just want to ask him his thoughts of going into this lovely games market. Hey there, what's your name? I'm Chris. Chris, oh, nice to meet you. So are you picking up anything today you're hoping to find? Um, a few, like, mm, mm, top on the list, the, um, yeah. the Sega Saturn 3D controller. Oh, nice, okay, Last okay. time, you know, everyone was it's like, yeah, everyone's asked for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah, yeah. that, um, that's the main thing. Like, and if there's anything else, it's just, uh, okay. anything else is like a bonus, really. No, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Me, personally, I know my man holding a camera calf, he's into uh, SNES, and I'm a big fan of SNES stuff. Yeah. So you pick up any SNES games, like, is there anything that, if you see it, you're going to grab that? Spawn. Spawn. Ah, okay, spawn. <laughs> spawn. Me, personally, I'm just after anything I can find. Like, I don't think there's anything I need. I think more it's for the atmosphere. So stuff like this, yeah. interacting with people. But, no, that's great, man. But I hope you find your uh, control pad or whatever it is you're after. I hope you find it, you know, anything that you find cool, you know. All right, it's been, yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Hope to no catch worries. you in there, yeah? Yeah, thank you. you. And now we are here to do our thing. It's gonna be great. I'm feeling really buzzed. I hear my man Kevtastic. Yes. And it's on, man. Oh, man. I'm speechless, man, because I just cannot wait to pick up some classic stuff Yes. as well. So this is gonna be really good. And while we're here, we'll be speaking to a YouTuber. Let's grab him in. He's already on it. We and know this guy's Poku well. Gaming, live. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Man. Nice to meet you. Cool, man. I don't think we've spoke. No, but we've sort of kind of um, put yeah, various places and some comments on Instagram and everything. Man. Yeah, so it's good to see people, uh, other people doing the job. Can, can you let these guys know your YouTube? Get that out there. Yeah, yeah youtube.com slash podcast. We'll gaming. put it along the bottom. Man. That's all yeah, good, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, likewise, it's all good. But yeah, we're ready for some bargains. Oh, oh, man, I can't man, wait man, for some bargains. I've got a nice pocket full of cash that I'm ready to get rid of completely today. You've so. got to get in there fast because this place is going to get packed in Yeah, we're going to get straight on there, man. Straight on. Yeah, but we're going to get We'll catch up later for some seeing what we've all found. I think we will, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, right. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so I'm already looking at this because this wow. young lady here is doing nice little bundles. Hello. <laughs> and one of these tiles I definitely want to get. And although Bob, so I never played Bomberman on the PS1. I'm guessing it's kind of just sort of a, a mix-up style of the classic stuff on the SNES. Yeah. It would be good for the collection. It looks I'm good. definitely looking at that. And that's the second time you've picked that up, Kev. Yeah, I know it before is. Before we started shooting. So but it's a difficult thing because, you know, if I go about and then I come back and it's gone, I'll be a bit upset. But at the same time, See, I've got to pace you... myself. I've got to pace yeah. myself. Right. Man. Because you said that now, that means you need to get it. No, man. So no, because I'll, you... I'll have a chance to get these at another point in my time. So okay. I'm going to leave it for now. I think yeah. it's a niche enough little bundle that it might sit around for a while. So okay, we'll, come cool. back. we'll come back. We'll come All back. right, my man. So we're with a guy who's already done a lot of shopping there, man. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> wow, yes, you've yes. picked up a lot of stuff. That's how yeah, brothers do it, isn't it? That's what you do, that's what you do. You, know, you come here looking for a lot of stuff, you know? So what sort of stuff have you picked oh, up at the moment? I've picked up an old like, Master System console. Yeah. Like, a Dreamcast console. Yeah. Uh, like, a couple of joy pads for like, Super Nintendo that I've got. Like, one's broken, so I've just got three joy pads. Oh, nice. And a load, nice. load of games, a load of different games. Oh, man, yeah. so you're happy with that? Yeah, oh, yeah. And how long have yeah. you been here for? Like, uh, what, well, in, in... Yeah, yeah, just, like, uh, if you just got... I, I got in early, man. Are you, are you been yet to get here? Yeah. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Get in early, so, before the crowd, so. So you've been here for about, probably about 20 minutes, would you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 minutes, right. you've already picked up yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, man, yeah. do you drive? No, 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 so it's, but it's worth the carry. It's exactly, worth exactly. That's what it's about, it's worth, because mm -hmm. picking up loads of stuff, and you just, you're not bothered about how you get it back. No, no. Just, just carry it on your back. That's it, that's, that's it. That's how I do it. I carry it on my head, but, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately, it would be very comfortable. Yeah, man, definitely. Oh, good, so, um, it's going to be good because I think yeah. like there's another room open down yeah, there as well. Yeah, that one's got some good stuff in there. There's yeah. a little bag for that one as well. I think I need to pick up some stuff. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to push through people now because yeah, yeah, definitely. I think it's a bit of a fight now, isn't it? Yeah, it will be, it will But look, man, my name's Paul Michael Reedy. What's your name? Glenn. Glenn, nice yeah. to speak to you. Hopefully yeah. we'll, we'll catch you up later yeah, on, no yeah? Worries, That's a wrap, man. Yeah. I'm going to jump in, man.
what are you purchasing, man? Star wing and pilot wing. It's not the uh, rarest of games, but uh, <coughs> definitely worth picking up, man. Oh, nice. Thanks a lot, pal. Cheers. Some quite nice ones there. Are you all about the box consoles, bro? I am. I like a box. If I, if I'm honest. So look at that. Come on, it's boxed. Yeah, that's the original. That's not. Look at this one, Tetris. And this one is 80 quid. So it's 20 pound more than this one. Comes with a game though. Yeah, that is nice. I must admit. But I'm kind of holding my money out a bit at the moment. I'm just seeing what's about. Yeah. I don't want to jump in too much. That's cool, bro. What have, yeah, you, man, what have you picked up so far, Jake? Uh, just my little Deadpool thing. <laughs> and I'm looking at some other stuff. Cool, cool. I say he's awesome. been looking at the Cave of Pixels over here, bro. Yeah, yeah that's so awesome. Look at Cave of Pixels, these pictures, Ben. Yeah. Wow. It's impressive, bro. Right, Very thanks. nice. Cheers. Very nice. Wow. Golden axe, isn't it? Yeah. I like that one. It's the same art as some back of the computer game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a Mega Drive one. Wow. What you find in really? Jesus. I found, oh well, I found sketching for the Mega Drive. Man, I used to play that game solidly, literally solidly. I'm probably going to get Ridge Race for Evolution. You're get, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's the one. But now it's just trying to find. Sorry, bro. Stuff like this is just amazing. Thanks. Samurai. The artwork, it's really good, man. Wow. Sorry? Have a look at the catalogue. Yeah, of course. We have about 200 of these out there. Wow. Just look. Millie. Yeah, there's a little Millie. Small. Yeah, right, yeah. Not anymore, man. No, man. But Jake's found something. He's picking up some amazing Spider Man t shirts. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to pack. Oh, would you do any deal if I bought two or? We do them as cheap as we can, yeah. I'm afraid. Okay. But we do take cars. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like not even paying, mate. You know? yeah, <laughs> it doesn't go nice. out for a couple of days. Fine. That is nice. Yeah, can I have, you got this in large? Yeah. yeah uh, that one's sick, man. You'll wear yeah. that in the next episode of the show. Yes, boss. And oh, it's the Batman one. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's all right, yeah. So we've bumped back into our boy after about an hour of searching around and he's found some good titles already that he was looking for. So what have you got man? Code Veronica. Resident Evil Code Veronica. Oh, nice. Scott, he's found a Sega Saturn tile. Enemy Zero with the holographic cover. I don't know. See, man, he's been after some specialist stuff. <laughs> Jesus. And then you've got a, Jap Japanese, a couple of Japanese titles, aren't they? Yeah, it's a Japanese Enemy Zero. Yeah. Wow. Because you forget the Sega Saturn thing with different cases over there. Um, Not giant things like we had. Slayer's Royal. Because I, I saw that last time. It's in the same yeah. guys. I keep something again next Yeah, but there you go, man. You're lucky it's still here, man. Oh. I did see that as I went round. Dynamite, oh, okay. is, that, is that anything like Die Hard Trilogy on PS1? No, is this it, is like, yeah, you know Dynamite Cop? Yes. It's basically the, I think it's the European, like when they put, um, don't quote me on this, I think when Dynamite Cop came over yeah. to like, our, you know, um, West, uh, they bundled it as a Die Hard game. Okay, oh, I was going to say, they look all like Bruce Willis on that cover. Yeah. So, no. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it's not the original case, but I mean... Oh man, to be honest, it's uh, good for the collection, man. 20 quid. Score. Man, that is good, man. 20 quid. Do you know what, I think you're getting the Sega Saturn. I did see, did you get it from, um, uh, from a black dude at the end? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought like, I was sitting in his hand, I thought, oh, that looks tasty. <laughs> that looks tasty, man. You got yourself a bag in there, yeah. man. I mean, I'm, I mean, I could leave with that and have it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I mean, Can't we say no more than that? I might talk about the 3D uh, controller. Yes, but there you go, check that, that out, man. That's like, that's, that's already that's like a load of my wish list gone already. That's awesome. Man. That's what these events are about, man. You, yeah. you come, you don't expect too much, but then when this stuff like this happens, it's well worth making the effort, man. Yeah. Definitely. And if you're happy with just that. That's it, yeah. Man, it's not even half a day gone yet. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Um, well, I'm happy for you, man. <laughs> Under 100 quid, and yeah, I've got yeah. like some pretty, good, pretty, some pretty tasty stuff. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Cool, cool. Well, we'll hope we catch up with you again, and we'll see what other swag you picked up. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Take it easy, mate.
for your bedroom, Jake, then you go. Yeah, I'm tempted. No, no. Do, you, do you want to tell the camera uh, where they can find you on YouTube? Yeah, but of course, yeah, we're on YouTube. Let's Talk Retro is the channel name. And uh, our website, Let's Talk Retro .com. Um, Yeah, come and subscribe. But yeah, definitely check out their shows, man. Putting like, a lot of content. Good Cheers. Stuff. That's good, that's good, that's good. So you're doing well today, is it good? Yeah, it's alright. It's not as um, as busy as last time, but right. yeah, it's good. It's got really crazy busy in the last hour. Yeah, yeah, so. That's when people realise, I need to pick that up now. Yeah, that's it. Rush yeah, around. Yeah, because I'm finding, trying to get in, to have a look at a store is hard work, man. That's it, Yeah, you know, excuse me, you know, yeah. after a while you're just like, okay, let them carry on. There's nothing I'm really after, it's more like an eye candy thing. If I see some, I think, oh, I'll grab that, it's more that, but there's nothing specifically I'm after, you know, but no, nah, no, nah, thank you for that, though. Yeah, of course. Hello everyone, we've come across this guy with his lovely magnificent consoles in the back here. Machines. Arcade machines, man. Well, what this is, is it's called a bar top arcade. Okay. It's not a full standing arcade machine, you plonk it on your desk and away you go. It's got inbuilt 18 consoles or emulators and it comes with just under 5,000 games. Um, all of them are accessible via the front end called Pi Play. Wow. Um, it's only showing a few of the consoles at the moment because as you add more games, the consoles appear. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, you've got a wireless way of updating it. So say if there wasn't a game on there that you wanted, a few taps on my computer and it would be wirelessly streamed there. Be yours to keep. Same for the updates for when new consoles come out. Um, you've got soundboard joysticks and buttons, very high quality, good action. They're recommended for like six million clicks or something. Um, behind here you've got a LED driver with an LED strip, so if I show you on this one, you can actually uh, control whatever colour you want it to be. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Good. Do, get it to do what you want. <coughs> that is really and, uh, good. That for, is... It's running off a Raspberry Pi uh, 2, so you've got plenty of power behind there for all your games. Upgradable storage if you run out. Why? So uh, that is good. So what keeps catching my Oh, sorry. Do you want to jump in? No, no just quick, quick, quick. What's the screen? Is it LED screen? Did you say? And this is a um, seventeen-inch LCD. This is screen. this is a real popular one. This is something you would want in your basement, your bedroom, your living room. Every room. They, they're taking off. People are requesting them like crazy. Really? Yeah. They're asking us for. We're doing one for a, a couple that are getting married. They're, right. they're having one of ours in their reception, and it, on the marquee, it's got the timeline of their life together. I'll have to think about that from our wedding then no, me, really me and my we hire them out as well and we do coin operated versions i tell you one what keeps catching yeah. my eyes this what game is this actually in this one here it, it, this runs exactly the same software as this 
Yeah. So it's got all the 5,000 games, it's got all the upgradables, it's just a different design and it's oh, done. Okay. I haven't finished it yet. Right, wow. <laughs> Oh no, this is good. Is there any links they can find where they can... Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. You'll find us. Loveretro.co.uk Lovely. Send us a message. My name's Tom. Cool, cool. We'll be uh, happy to help you with anything you want. Brilliant. Well, well that's good. My name's Paul Michael Rui. It's been a pleasure. This is my co-host Kev. And we, and we brought him along today for the madness as well. Yes, <laughs> so, yeah. right. That is brilliant. Thank you very much. Brilliant. For that, Thank, Thank you for having me on your show. Thank you. Cool. After browsing around, I couldn't keep my eyes off these consoles. I think they're absolutely amazing. They think, and the guy who designs them is this gentleman here. Do we introduce yourself? Hey, um, I'm Raz from Retrospective 22. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Is this something you've done for years and years and got better at it? Yes. These are very impressive. Yeah, I started off in 2012 doing it as a hobby. Yeah. And then started getting a lot of positive feedback from it. Oh, wow. And then, um, <laughs> So I started to try and turn it into something that I could focus on full time. And uh, now I do this full time work. Oh, is this your full time job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's impressive. That says it all about your work, isn't it? But no, for me, I just find that like around the 90s, this was something that I had one of these. I definitely had one of these later on, you know. So a lot of these consoles, to see them revamped, basically. There's a real good touch. It kills me to think that a lot of these are getting just chucked away or designed. So you say the SNES because they suffer for the yellowness. Some yeah. think, oh, it's too ugly, I'll chuck it. But if you have a showpiece of gaming that you're, you're proud to, to have it as a centerfold in your gaming collection, I think yeah. you're more likely to play it that then retro yeah, gaming yeah, stays true. alive, you know what I mean? Wow. So so say for instance I had a console, like I had a snares and it was yellow, could I send it to you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we take custom requests, a lot of them, so if you had a, a theme, an idea, yeah. that you want to buy into any photo, we'll do that, we'll, we'll design it, create the stencils, and then uh, buy it. Wow. See, mine would be a Mortal Kombat one. Yeah. Mortal Kombat slash Max Payne one. <laughs> See, that's me. I'm quite half tempted to do a Mortal Kombat on um, PlayStation 1. I'm Just, okay. You know, the symbol on, 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 on the yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. But, yeah, you could be a bad turn. Have you done a Mortal Kombat on any console? Not yet. I, mean, I want to, though. That would be a challenge, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. You know, next, next event, I'll bring one, I think. Oh, damn. So you've done Street Fighter. Um, is there any other one? Ah, Resident Evil. Tell me your brother. I brought over 30 consoles with me today, so, and this is what's left now. Wow. There was a... Um, Mario All Stars, Nairs, it's a lot of Zelda themed consoles, they, they go quite quick. There was a Majora's Mask N64. This, this one's quite different. I had a few different ones of these. It's a, so, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Hydro Dipping. No. So, it's a layer of ink that's applied on top of a um, warm water. Yeah. And then you, you spray your activator and it, it dissolves the memory, and then it's just ink floating on top of the water. So, whatever you dip into the ink transfers yeah. onto the object. So, rather than painting it, so that's right. been dipped and then uh, wow. lack it in. It's incredible, really man. Nice. And it's also on the controller port as well, at the front of the console. Oh, you are? Yeah, 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 excellent. So, how much would this be? So, that's $79.99. That's at the event. Event. Online, it's a little bit more expensive for postage and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, okay, that is brilliant. No, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, you Thank you. Hello everyone, we just walked out of the gaming market, it's been really good. But I've bumped into somebody who's actually subscribed to Black Hat TV. Hello, Hi everybody, <laughs> Martin. Hey, so can you just let them know how you found the channel and stuff like that? Uh, I collect action figures and I was going through a lot of uh, different profiles that came up with you. Oh, a lot brilliant. of them American, so you were English. Locked on straight away. Oh, brilliant. Been following the channel ever since. Oh, thank you very much. Is, is there any like uh, particular one? Uh, it's like, the like, superhero um, figures, the older stuff, which oh, you've been you getting old, on. Oh, yeah. yes, yeah, I get quite a lot of them. Really love all that. Yeah. yeah. But no, it was, it was great meeting you. So, oh, thank you all so right. much. Hope your channel's doing yep. well. It is, hopefully, getting there. Thanks, guys. Have Take a great care, day. Oh, thank Cheers, you. Thanks for
So we're back to Kettering now. It's been a good day at London Gaming Market. You were happy with your day, man? Yeah, man, it was really good. I kind of felt like, you know, we didn't really go far, even though it was a nice yeah, swift journey there and nice journey back, but we bought loads of stuff, man. Yeah, and you'll see all that in another video we're going to put out, man. But um, So we'll keep we'll keep that hush-hush for now, but yeah. definitely, definitely worth going, man. Yeah, but all I can say is my good friend Kev has <laughs> picked up loads of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be talking <laughs> yeah. a while about that. And, uh, yeah, I probably picked up more titles than I thought, but I kept for the budget, as you say. That's pretty good, man. I'm happy yeah. with that. And me, I'm happy with what I brought. Um, and that's all I've got to say. I'm just happy to be home. I can go home and rest now and chill out a bit. So anything else you want to say before that? Uh... Yeah, I'm good, man. It's been a good day. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.